Hello, my friends. Welcome to my channel where I share with you how to make art with fluid acrylics. My name is Lorraine, and today we are going to work on a straight pour on the 16 by 20 inch canvas. So let's get started. Okay, some colors that I picked out today are a little bit different than I usually use. This is an orange. This is a prism violet. This is a new color. I haven't used it before. It's a transparent color. I have a violet, quinacridone magenta. I have an emerald. This is a DecoArt metallic pearl. And then I have a DecoArt extreme sheen copper. Now I have these paints mixed, so they're just leaving a mound. Not too much, not too thick, not too thin. And I don't know if you can see with the orange. Just leaving a mound and it goes away quickly. Okay, so I have my measuring cup here. This canvas is going to take approximately 11 ounces of paint to cover it. So I believe I'm going to start out by covering my edges with some white, just so that I'm sure that I have enough coverage. Okay, I just had that around the outside edge. If I need more later, I can add it. So let's see, how do I want to layer this? All of these colors, except for I believe the copper, the metallic pearl, are semi-transparent. The prism violet is a transparent color. So I think what I want to do is I want to end with some pearl. So I'm going to put that in the bottom of the cup. And then my quinacridone magenta. I'm just going to run it down the side. Uh, let's see. And I want to go in with some emerald. I'm not going to use a lot of the emerald. Then I'm hoping the copper will make some cells for me. Along with the pearl. And I am going to put the prism violet right next to the copper. Put in some of my orange. Then some of my violet. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the emerald here. And that's going to follow the same pattern going through here some of the pearl in. I'm gonna put some of my prism violet next to the pearl. Then some magenta. some copper, or I'm sorry, orange, and then I'll use some copper next to the orange. This cup's going to be very full. And I think I'll top it off with a little bit of the violet. 
and that's right up to the top. Move my canvas down a little bit so I'm a little more centered. And I'm going to pour it straight in the middle. Like I said, I'm hoping for some nice cells. My cup is so full, it's running down the side. I'm going to get a separation there. So here I go. Just wiggling it back and forth a little bit. I want to get some of those nice little fingerlings. My cup is dripping a little bit. I'm going to have a couple little blobs in there. And I dripped. So hopefully I'll have a nice center here. Got a little wiggly in the end. It's hard to be steady all the time doing this. So it's kind of giving it a look. Some really, really pretty stuff going on. That prism violet is just so vibrant in there. Move this around a bit. So pretty. Let's stretch it down this way. Bring it to the corner. And it's rolling over. The paint is rolling underneath and I want to keep my lines. So I'm just going to give it a line of my titanium white. I'm going to go all the way around it. And that's going to help it from doing that rolling underneath. See how the paint's all moving together now? It's not rolling underneath it. That's what I was looking for. I'm going to bring it back to my center. Roll it this way a bit. Just looking to get it on the canvas at this point. And then I will work on my composition. Okay, I'm going to bring it back to the center. It's stretching out quite a bit. There we go. And I can move down that way. Okay. 
Okay. Since I'm there, I'm going to bring it right down to this corner. Get it run off a little bit. Bring that weight back to the center. That orange and green is really pretty together. That emerald green and the copper is making the orange very iridescent. Like that. Down this way a bit. And okay. down to that corner. I want to put that all back on. Look at all of those beautiful cells that are coming up from that copper. Coming out from the pearl. Okay. Reposition my hands. And I'm going to bring that right on down to this corner. Cover this last corner. Oof. Okay. I think I better wipe my hands because I almost lost the whole thing there. See, I'm getting a little bit of white spots over here from using the white background, which makes me wish I would have used some of the purple, violet on the background instead. I really didn't want that to show up in there. But that's okay. I'm going to bring this around. I really, really love this part down here. The way the emerald is mixing with that um, prism violet, it is so pretty. I think I'm going to try and bring that down a little bit more. In that direction, so that I can stretch these out a bit. There's not very much paint left on here, so it's moving very slowly. Okay. There we go. And touch up the corner there a tiny bit. Touch this corner a tiny bit. But I really, really like that. It's so pretty. But you see how the white is breaking through up here. If I would have used violet in the background, it would have been breaking up through as violet instead. So. I'm going to turn it and tilt it this way a bit. See, like I said, there's not much paint left on there, so it's not moving very quickly. So pretty, though. This is 
a little bit of the violet showing up here. Really like to see some more of the, the darker violet in here. And I'm thinking about adding a little bit. Just going to put a little bit of it on my table here. And get a skewer. And then just want to float it across here. Not really pushing down on it, I'm just floating it in. I don't know if you can quite see what I'm doing. Just kind of following some of these lines. Okay, I'm going to play with this a little bit. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to say, um, if you enjoy my channel content, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified when I upload a new video, if you hit the bell, and make sure to... I think it's, uh, you have to put all in there in order to get notified for all of my videos. So you don't have to settle for what happens with your painting just because it's a poor painting and you're hitting looking for a certain style of painting. If you want to add a little bit of color, you add a little bit of color. You don't have to leave it be. So I could fuss with this for a long time, all day long probably. Just wanted to add that little pop of color down in here, a little bit up there. But let me show you a close up. And uh, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Like I said before, if you'd like to be notified when I upload videos, hit that bell and you'll be notified. So pretty. Those little fingerlings going on in there. Center. Bring it up here. So pretty. Little cloudy effects. And there's my little white spots from having white in the background. You gotta remember, um, transparent paints, semi-transparent paints, whatever you're working with, that background color is going to show through if it's a, um opaque color, which white is opaque, black is going to be opaque. So if I would have put something like a purple in there, I wouldn't have those spots. But there we have it, guys. Thanks for visiting. I'll see you next time. Bye.